We get to time to... Whoa, we're on the surface. So what's up guys, Marissa here, and welcome back, I suppose, to Undertale Don't Forget. Guys, the ride we've had with this game has been insane. First, it was something called Upper Tale. Then it got changed to this whole Don't Forget thing. Then it got changed to, like, some online multiplayer crazy jibber jabber. And now it's back to having a story mode, like... Ricky G, my friend, like, what the heck are you doing with this game? I, I really don't know where you're trying to take it anymore, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna get into what the balls he's currently doing with this. And, yeah, going back to the story mode here, which is completely brand new, so I suppose we should forget absolutely everything we've seen of this game in the past. So, let's just do that, get into it here, cut all the jibber-jabbering. Let's go. Very excited to see what's new and what's been updated with this whole story mode thing. Let's do it. Okay, very undertale -ish here, of course, the plain old instructions. Type in a name for the human. Hold down enter to confirm. Press shift to go back. Uh, just... Yeah, just keep it kind of, like, go frisk. Like, sure, why not? Okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's like a little loading bar while we hold an enter. Nope. We weren't allowed frisk. What? Are we an entirely new human? We're not frisk? What's going on right now? But there's Frisk though. What? Mark, we weren't allowed to be called Frisk. Why? Is that because we we're naming Kara? Maybe so. That's probably how it was working out. Let's go in here though. Oh dang, straight up. Should we see what's in the other room? Can't go back though. Okay, it's a one-way ticket. No returns here. I should have uh, explored a little more. I couldn't help it though, you know? Big gray silver door? I had to go in. Hi there, buddy. What are you doing here and what are you looking at there? Oh, the head's talking. I didn't expect the little head thing there to talk. Have you heard of the old royal scientist, Dr. W.D. Gaster? One day he vanished of our trace. They say his soul shattered across time and space. <laughs> How can I say so without fear? Even though he should be gone, he's still here. Oh, you're pulling all that on me straight up? Like, only a few minutes in? And we got pe people vanishing as we talk to them? Oh, not a chill start. Not a very chill start right now. And it's probably only going to get worse. Okay, let's keep going forward, though. Oh, hey. Who are you? One of WD Gaster's kind of... Partners or something? I don't know. Lackeys? I can't really remember. Did you ever hear about the old role scientist? Dr. Gaster? One act to follow. They say he created the core. However, his life was cut short. One day, he fell into his creation and... Duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, spill out, my friend. I'm ready. Can he be saved? Ooh. So I suppose this is what this game's all about. Even before this newest version of the story mode, there were, like, story elements to do with WD Gaster and all that stuff. So I suppose Ricky G is still keeping to that plot. But yeah, it's uh, completely changed up here in the way he's telling it. Dr. Gaster. His brilliance was irreplaceable. It's such a shame what's become of him. Without his soul, his consciousness is trapped here for eternity. They say pieces of his soul are scattered across different timelines. Dang. If one were to find them and put them all back together, then maybe... Oh, is that our task at hand right now? Finding pieces of his soul and putting them back together to say WD Gaster? I needn't gossip. After all, it's rude to talk about someone who's listening. Oh, man. He's still hanging around, apparently. Can we go right? No. Can we go left? Probably got to go straight up, of course. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe we go back now. We talked to all the WD Gaster guys. And now we head back. With the information we've now learned, we use that to advantage to, yeah, maybe save him. Don't know when that's going to happen. Oh, we couldn't go this way before. Oh, whoa, it's like Goner Kid or something. I think that's his name. I can't imagine what Dr. Gaster must be going through. Being forced to watch over a world in which you don't exist. da 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 Thinking about that terrifies me. Don't blame me, man. Don't blame you. You didn't disappear, though. You didn't disappear? Okay, I'll leave you there, buddy. 
Oh, the Everest disappeared after we spoke to them. But Gonda kid there? No, he's, st he's still hanging around. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, he's still there, though. Did you disappear? But all hope is not lost. If Dr. Gasser's soul were to be put back together, he would be freed. He would have a second chance. Dang, he disappears for the second time. Oh, hi, buddy. I feel like I've seen you before. <laughs> Dr. Gaster made mistakes, but haven't we all? If he were able to come back, he could fix them. He could finally fulfill the promise he made long ago. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I knew you'd be there. I knew you'd be there to say something else. You have the power to bring him back. To do so, you must find the pieces of his soul, then return here. Yeah, you already kind of, like, hinted at that, to be honest. <laughs> to begin, all you have to do is go through that door. All right, the door, sure thing. I am, the, as the genderless child, I will. Let's go. Where will I spawn, though? Undertale, don't forget. Ooh, that error. Oh, dear, oh, dear. By Ricky G. All right. Fantastic. Very excited to get into this more. Interesting stuff so far. So, yeah. Our aim is to save W. D. Gaster, get pieces of his soul, and then go back to that eerie area. We're at the true lab right now. Warning signs are plastered all over the wall. Why are we at the true lab? Ooh, this music right now. Entry number one. Work of the core has been officially completed. The entire underground is now supplied with unlimited magical energy. After working on the same project for so long, I am eager to start anew. I wonder what I'll be tasked with next. Is that WD Gaster? Is that his log? I think so. Entry number two. The king has given me my next assignment. He wants me to research effective ways to fight against the humans. This is definitely WD Gaster's logs right now. This could be a great opportunity to experiment with something interesting humans possess. A substance called determination. It fascinates me. Perhaps we could use this determination to our advantage. Yeah. Didn't end well though. I mean, WD Gas is not around anymore. So yeah, for sure it didn't end well. Up, pi private laboratory, left research room, right power room. Should we go straight up? That private laboratory, you know? Very, very interesting stuff. Maybe had. Seems like this door isn't... Being powered. Oh, okay. Alright, well, we go to the power section then? This was the power side, right? I think so. Oh, never mind. It wants me to go one way, then the other, and then the other. A, B, C. I see, I see. Okay, I'm going there. I am. That gentle booty is walking the ways. Entry number three. My research has proved to be very compelling. Determination grants its carrier with two abilities. Save and load. He's figuring all this stuff out that Alfie's didn't really actually end up figuring out, if I'm remembering correctly. Like, Alfie's was just a bit of a goof when it came to all. If we were somehow to harness determination, we could use it against the humans. I should find a way to extract determination from a human soul, and then... da da da, We will be unstoppable! Oh, dear! Entry number four. It occurred to me that I can't work on this project alone. I've decided to bring two assistants aboard to help me with various tasks. Currently, we're designing blueprints for a machine capable of DT extraction. I look forward to completing it. Who were the... The assistants? Alfie's? Or maybe, like, Sands of Papyrus? Entry number five. We finished constructing the DT extraction machine. The king provided us with the human souls needed to test it with. The extraction was a success. Now we will attempt to inject DT into monster souls. We have chosen four monsters who have fallen down to conduct the experiments on. If it's successful, they should all come back to life. We will try this tomorrow. Let's see if it ends up being good or bad. There's a prompt on the screen. Power room status locked. Okay, simple as that. Just the press of the button. That's how I like it. None of this puzzle jibber jabber, just boom, baby! <laughs> Alright, fantastic. So, we can head on over to the right room? These logs are the same, right? Yeah, they're, they're exactly the same. I'm wondering who the partners were. And who we actually ended up testing on. We may find out in the logs soon enough. I hope so. Interesting lore right now. Let's keep going over here. Yeah, we can go in there now. More logs? There are more logs. 
Okay, let's read it up. Entry number six. It worked. What? It got to work? They're alive? All four of them are awake and walking around as if they never fell down. Gaster! You genius! Well, why did you have to disappear? And why did you have to fall into the core? Whatever happened to you? Like, why, why? <laughs> you must actually, you know, gain success from this. It's so fascinating. Entry number seven. It's been a few days. They're all still fine. Like, okay. Something Alfie's definitely didn't manage to do. Like, they got all corrupted and turned into the Algamites. Is that, is that what they were? The Algamites? Something like that? I don't know if I'm even saying it right. <laughs> but, you know, they're all the, 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 the weird, distorted, corrupted-looking monster things. At this point, we can consider the experiment a res resounding success. Now that we have access to determination, we can overpower the humans. Using our magic combined with determination, we will truly be unstoppable. The only thing I found odd is that the test subjects are... Oh. Very... Sweaty. Okay, so it's not completely perfect. I was jumping the gun. I don't think WD Gaster had it completely perfect. What's this? You flip the switch. Okay, I think that's gonna open the door. I think so. Let's waddle that genderless booty back to that room so that, yeah, we can enter the upper door. There we go, it's right open now. Ooh. The uneasy feeling of wandering these de decrypted corridors. It fills your determination. Yeah, I'm feeling very uneasy right now. This place isn't exactly clean looking too. I'm gonna come out very, a very filthy, genderless child. Enter number eight. Entry number eight. Things have taken a turn for the worse. Okay. Again, like I said, jump the gun. WD Gas. WD Gas didn't actually quite have his experiment going perfectly. It was all right for a few days, but after that, yeah. As he's saying here, things taken a turn for the worse. The test subjects have melted together to form one enormous entity. It tried to attack us. I had no choice but to destroy it. At least now we know that monster souls cannot handle rule determination. But now that we know this, where do we go from here? Okay. Entry number nine. No progress has been made. We're low on options. If our bodies aren't capable of handling determination, how do we harness its power? We would need something else to contain it for us, but what? I just noticed the actual... Was that there before? We could see wingdings, like, slightly. They're, like, vibrating, and they're slightly faded. An interesting touch. I didn't see that before. We could use a machine powered by determination? Okay, I didn't actually quite get that. If our bodies aren't capable of handling determination, how do we harness its power? We would need something else to contain it for us. But what? Dotly dot. It sounds absurd, but perhaps we could use a machine powered by... Okay, is, is that the machine that we see in the true lab? That weird looking skull thing? Oh, the music right now. Oh, that music right now. I probably shouldn't be here. Machine status. Again, how did I get here though? Like, why in the world am I here? Like, what the heck? I know I gotta find the souls and stuff, but how did I get from A to B, you know? B being this and A being where the heck I was before? <laughs> it's just... Machine status functional. Right. Whoa, this is so weird. The drawers are full of documents detailing experiments done with the machine. Okay, what about this one? The drawers are full of... Okay, I thought so. Oh, okay. However, one of the drawers has crumbled, a crumbled up piece of paper sitting inside. Written at the top of the paper is entry number 17. Oh. The rest is illegible. Okay. Use a machine. Properly shouldn't, but... To progress forever, guys! Yeah, we're gonna have to do it, aren't we? Ooh, it's got the heart and everything. What in the world? Please select the timeline. Dang, the timeline you came from. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. We got to collect stuff. We've got the soul pieces, and then we got to collect puzzle pieces or something. Spent. That's our currency. I don't know. But yeah, sadly, this is currently a demo right now, as always. <laughs> Every Undertale fan game we play! 
But yeah, I can see this actually becoming a complete game, guys. So no worries on that. Okay, let's just go straight to the timeline we came from. I'm, I'm clicking it. Oh. Oh, I, I go to the second one. Never mind. Okay. Here we go. How to play. Find wormholes around the area. Complete the challenge and decide to get a soul piece. Look for puzzle pieces and trade them for extra unlockables. Wow. Okay. This is so intriguing. We get to time to... Whoa. We're on the surface. Use a machine. Okay. So we are... A time where monsters made it to the surface. Okay. So we are currently at a timeline where... Yeah, it's basically the sequel to Undertale, you know, doing the pacifist route and we spared the monsters and yeah, they made it to the surface. You guys know all that jazz, but this is still super cool right now and I'm ready to explore the heck out of it. Oh, dang. The door's locked. You can hear someone typing away furiously on the inside. I remember in Upper Tell there was references to some YouTubers and to some of the monsters in Undertale. So I'm wondering, who the heck is that? Hi there. The door is locked. We got like a groby kind of monster, which is actually, I think somewhere in the core when you're doing the weird puzzles with, with the blocks and stuff. Hi there. Can I not talk to you? Oh, hey, how are you? Can you believe it's already been a whole year since we made it to the service? Dang, a whole year though. Didn't think it would be that far into them. Yeah, actually being there. It really is great to be out in the sunshine. Anyway, school is about to start soon, but my friend hasn't shown up yet. They never liked school when we were underground, so they're probably trying to ditch. But you got Mama Toriel, like good old God Mama Toriel, most likely being a teacher there. Like, how would you not want to go to school when God Mama Toriel's there, you know? <laughs> she always wanted to be a teacher, and a year in being a teacher, most likely. She's got to be real good right now. Do you think you could go get them for me? I know you're probably busy, but it would really help me out. In case you don't remember, they're a purple monster of a red skateboard. Okay. Thanks for your help. I'll be waiting here. So we've got like little missions and stuff. And there's the papyrus, like uh, the, the, the uh, grass cut out thing. You feel sorry for the kids that have to walk past this every day to get to school. <laughs> it does look kind of creepy though. Oh, we're going to save it up. Seeing what the future might hold for humans and monsters. If you pull fur. <laughs> it fills your determination. <laughs> if you pull through, by the way. <laughs> if not, then whatever's arcade. What? Splat 20, Thundersnell. Oh, Splat 2D. I thought it was like Splat 20 for some reason. Uh, Splat ink at enemies and find the zap fish at the end of each level. Dang, you're kidding. We got some sort of Splatoon thing here? Whoa. This game does not feature control and support. Use the base D. Okay, sure. Wow. Wow. Okay. What in the world? I'm ready. Use space to swim. In your own ink. Right. WSD to move, mouse to aim. Oh. Whoa, mate. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Shoot ink at oct octolings to splat them. Of course. Hey, I play splat -o man. I should be all good here. Even though I'm not going to be all good here. <laughs> I'm going to die. It's actually been a little while since I last played. I've been really wanting to play the DLC. The Octoling expansion, but I just haven't had time. So many other games coming my way, and you know, of course, YouTube and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's Spider Man. <laughs> Been playing that lately. There's so many. <laughs> as good as that was, though, yeah, we're getting out of there. Let's check out more of the surface. We can actually go and Grobies. Oh, we got everyone we know and love here. Shop here? Sure, I don't have any money, though. Buy? What can we buy? Burger, fry, soda. Let's just talk to him. Hi. Okay. That's all he says. Hi. <laughs> Come again. Hi, everyone. Hi. How you doing there, doggy? You doing all right? Not now. I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay. All right, then. Sure, I'll leave you to your concentration. Okay. Stupid mutt. Sure, I'll just walk my ways over here and talk to someone who, yeah, actually may want to talk to me. Oh, what's up with these houses? 
This is what remains of the old flower village. Please be cautious as these houses are not stable and could suddenly collapse. Can we go in one of them though? This house doesn't look too safe, so it's best to stay away from it. I'm sure all of them say that. Maybe except for one. Maybe we could actually go in one though. This house doesn't look too safe. Okay. I'm not sure. This house doesn't look too safe, so it's best to stay away from it. Do you guys think we can go in one? Oh, what is that? What is that? But first, I didn't even check this house. You can hear someone crying from somewhere inside of this house. How about we stay really far away from this one? Oh, that is weird. Okay, but what's this? Level 9. Dodge glitches until the timer runs out. Okay. We're going straight to level 9, apparently. Whoa, hi. What the heck? Oh, this looks insane. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got the rhythm. Oh, there we go. There's the rhythm. I just need to find that opening. I know I found it. Nope. We got this. We got this. There we go. Nice. You got a saw piece. Ooh. That sound after collecting it. Oh, man, man. Okay, so we get warped back. We do. Dang, so we found one. We can replay it for some weird reason. Don't glitch until the time runs out. Now I'm good. I've already got that soul piece. We we jumped straight to level nine though. <laughs> where the heck's level one then? I, I don't know. I, did, I guess I haven't explored everything quite yet. But where is this area? Hi, buddy. Oh, hello there. Haven't seen you in a while. Remember me from Wolfville? Good times. Say, if you're not busy, five of my snail friends seem seem to have wandered off. If you could. Do you think you can go find them? <laughs> we've already got to find, like, that flame high school girl's friend. And now we've got to find your friends, too. Got to find a lot of friends here. They're probably scattered around the area in different places. Let me know if you find them all. Thanks for your help. Okay, I guess. Sure. I'll try. We can go to the left there. Can we go to the right? Ooh, another soul game thing. Level 10? Destroy all glitches before time runs out. Okay. That's it. Woo! Hello. Who are you, you mysterious fellow? Hello there, my name is... What? But you can call me G. G for gangster. I sense that you do not belong in this timeline. You must be a traveler like me. I traverse time and space in search of artifacts called puzzle pieces. So, will we bump into Frisk then? Because we're not initially from this timeline. We're from, from wherever the heck we are. So yeah, will we actually bump into another genderless child? I don't know. I traverse time and space in search of artifacts called puzzle pieces. I left behind my home timeline to seek them all. But alas, I am not much of an explorer, and so I struggled to find any of them. But you, you seem like a good explorer. How about we make a deal? If you find puzzle pieces for me, I shall give you rewards. I have plenty of things to give you in exchange for puzzle pieces. Okay, very interesting stuff. So what do you say? Come visit me again sometime if you're interested. Farewell for now. What would you give me then? Ah, it's you. How can I help? Browse shop. Oh, we got costumes. Okay. Surface outfit. Great for relaxing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mario. Is that all the things? Mysterious key. What could it be for? Oh. That's enticing. It appears the path has been blocked by a chain of a lock attached. Perhaps you can find a key. Is that where the mysterious key comes in? Probably. Okay, so we can get these puzzle pieces. Can we actually go this side? No, it's like completely blocked off. So let's do this then. L level 11, like where's level one? I started with level nine and 10 and 11. Like what's going on right now? Dodge the glitches and get to the end. Okay. Get to the end this time. It's not about surviving. It's about getting to the end. Oh dear. Oh dear. I got to find the right pattern here. Oh yeah, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? That was like awesome. Okay, I'll do that again. Oh! Oh, I was close. You got a soul piece. What's up there, though? I don't know. You now have three soul pieces. Okay. Nice. Wow. Loads of puzzle pieces. Yeah, we didn't hardly explore this place. I never smell two. Okay, I got about three of them right now. We needed about five, so yeah, two to go. But still haven't found this schoolgirl's friend or something. I'm sorry, I don't know if I'll ever find them. Maybe they're in a different timeline. I don't know. Do we check this out? The door is locked. Okay. 
Nothing interesting with that. I don't think we went this way for a start. Don't think so? Oh! Go, Mama! Oh, hello, Frisk. I never heard you wake up this morning, so you surprised me. If you are hungry, there is food in the fridge. Try not to stay out too late again today, alright? Oh, go, Mama, I won't. But then, again, I'm not actually the Frisk from this timeline right now. So are we going to see the Frisk in bed? That'd be weird. Guys, like, like, there's... Guys? Do I dare get near the genderless child? Which is the genderless child that I am, by the way? It's you! Well, more specifically, an alternate version of you. Would, would reality collapse in on itself if they were to wake up and see, a, see you standing there? Well, despite your curiosity, you decide that it would best not... It would be best not to find out. <laughs> That's basically what I was saying. Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay, so what's the mysterious key do then? Oh, no, that's cool. Okay, that makes that key even more interesting. Tis locked. Tis locked, okay. Does it open one of these doors? Not sure. See you later, go mama! I love you, go mama! Maybe there's like the secret lab thing? I don't know. Isn't it normally behind their house or something? I don't know, let's check this out. What level is this? Level four, I didn't even read it. <laughs> Go and Ryan, don't even know what to do. I just got to dodge him, yeah? Yeah, I just got to dodge him. This is so much slower and easier than the one we did before. But I still failed, didn't I? Oh, there we go, okay, nice. You got a soul piece? Now I got a diddly dang four. Okay, I'm happy with that. Nice. It's kind of good that we went from the high levels to the low because yeah, so much easier in comparison, of course. And we got one over here too, haven't we? So let's check that one out. I think it was in between... Not that one. In between this one up here. Yes, please. Let's please. Yes, please. Yes, please. I didn't even look at that one either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do right now. I bet I just survive. Yeah, I just survive. Anyway, though, guys. We have checked out a lot of this right now. Although, yeah, we haven't checked out everything. That's something we should probably do in a possible another video of this. So if you guys want to see that, you know what to do, everyone. Come on. You know what to do and you know what to say. So as always, guys.